So we're going to solve this top of puzzle by Persona Sashadri called Circle. It's got a great arrangement of clues and a few spots are drawing my attention right at the start, including this lower left corner where we've got some clues like these that don't have ways to pass through their big channels. We can't even take these two cells because the longest stretch of two would mark everything else around it. So this corner is really unreachable and even for clues around this two two, like this cell we can't take, this cell we can't take, this cell we can't take. So one of the places I'm seeing the first star in this grid is to mark these in. That will work around the normal 1-3 start on an edge, but complete this shape, which puts the cell here. This is going to be where the three long clue goes, so this stays connected, and it could come this way or this way, and I'm just visualizing mentally. If it took this edge, it can continue coming around this edge and then corner around this two, as long as it is too long and, and come out to here. So for the moment, we can go dodge the outside versus the inside, but if uh, we lose that flexibility in these cells, we'll, we'll know for sure we've got to take the inner channel. Um, another thing by marking this 2, 2 off is we know that one of the empty cells around the 3, 3 clue will be here, so the other is going to be symmetrically opposite it. These will be shaded in. That means one of these two cells is unused, and around a 7, that means all the rest will be shaded except for that unused cell. This 1, 2 clue can't take this cell, so it must take this and finishes it out. That actually organizes what the 3, 3 will do. This cell is unused for the 2 by 2 rule, which puts it in for this 3 clue. And we've got the start. The next place to probably visualize is in uh, this upper left corner. We have a 3, 3, but we have a space where we can't come through this channel. So if I took a shading around the 3, 3 like this, we would have this group, but it couldn't get out through this space. Um, so this, these have to be marked where we can't come through this channel. Another deadly pattern is going to be this one where we'd have a shaded group coming across the top, but again, can't come through this space. So these get marked in, these get marked off. Um, if this was all vertical, then again, we got a space that's going to have to come through and, and can't get marked off. So actually this three, three right next to this two, two has exactly one orientation of all of its shaded cells at work. That will have to kitty corner around the one, one clue over here for this two, two, it's going to have to take these cells and that will, uh, finish off the pattern. We've got the stretch of tapa and the stretch of tapa that have to stay connected with everything else. If I took this cell, I marked these off, and that's no good. So this is a pattern where you've got two shaded, two shaded, and an almost square pattern where you've got to leave the center cell filled and put in the remaining eight in this kind of loop. That means this cell around the two, three clue can't be used. So we'll have to take these and then one of these two, but not both of those two to finish that pattern. So Got a good part of the left side filled. Let's think about the right side. Here's another corner which has a small clue that's going to be somewhat problematic to fill in. So looking at the 3-3, three, three, there's again this way to isolate uh, black that's going to cause issues. I think even this way to isolate black causes issues. We would mark these off and then this, this can't get around. So the consequences of that are these uh, options look to be uh, shaded in for sure. Now, even if we don't um, have an issue around the 3-3, three, three, we still have an issue around this 1-2 where we kind of want to shade some cells up here. For instance, there's at least uh, where 1-2-2 two, two is a pretty packed clue, there's a case where we'd shade this cell and come to the left, but we then can't get further out. So I think there is a, a forced path that this is always a shaded cell that marks one of these off, marks one of these off. Uh, we still will have to have them this always be a shaded cell to get a 1, 2, 2 complete. That puts a, a clue in here. This will have to connect over. Uh, so we're still going to need to get a valid packing here. And the thing to notice is if I took uh, this cell, which marks those off, I now isolate a cell up top. And so around this 3, 3, just as on this upper left side, there's an, an absolutely poor shading of it to make it work out. That's going to take these cells for the 1, 2, 2. It's going to take this and then this extension down to continue to connect into the grid is going to take this cell to connect into the grid. Notice that now actually forced this, this two group to be above. And so where we had before an option to kind of come like this to come around, that two is no longer available. So this three must be passed by going straight through it. Um, the three now can't reach all the way around. So a cell like this couldn't be used. A cell like this can't come around and be used. So the only cell left for the last single shaded cell for this one three is this cell, which forces the three pattern immediately, forces the last cell for the one two immediately. That comes over like this. Um, this two three at the top, if it took this cell, would now lose all its ability to connect. So this is a cell that's not used. This cell is used. This cell is also used. 
for this to be a valid 2-4, it's got to come to this pattern. Here we need to for it to stay connected. We need to take this to stay connected, and these come up and finish the puzzle. So a good workout that really involves seeing limited corners, the lower left being the most obvious, but even the upper left and upper right, fairly limited corners with a small clue near a 3-3. Three, three. Two or three of the four patterns for the 3-3 three, three would isolate a lot of the tapa. And so just considering what are the most isolated cells got us some shaded in, which got us uh, eventually through connectivity through to the center, got the answer to the circle. So I hope you got some uh, helpful tips to view top of puzzles for the future, and we'll see you again soon.